bottle of stuff. Can you know what you have? Two out of ten. From an open bottle of what? 40, 50. Something's wrong. I know. Story, what do you got? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, how does this go down? You know, how do I protect myself here? I don't know, bro. It's not a martial arts class. What I'm saying is, how, how do I know you're not going to steal this from me? Okay, Chang. I'm a reporter. I work for Privy. That I know. Is, is there a is there a contract? No, no contract. Is where you live? I'm not gonna rip you off. Okay, what kind of money are we talking about here? Because this, uh, this is worth a lot of money. I can't tell you how much it's worth till you tell me the story, which you could have done over the phone. My name. I don't want my name. Yeah, you have complete confidentiality as the source. You're totally anonymous. Do you pay cash? Payroll check. It's a check. My name's on it. How, how is a check totally anonymous? <gasps> can't reinvent the wheel, bro. That's how it works. You want to tell me what you got on Vince Vaughn or not? God, I counted them. How else would we know he was a thief? Not a thief. May have had a little cinnamon toast, a bowl of cornflakes. That does not concern me. I told him he could have anything he wanted from the kitchen, but that does not include... He's house-sitting. House-sitters. They read the refrigerator door. Maybe they explore a closet or a cabinet. You know, there are people who would not snoop. There are people who would not steal a thing. Are there? people Here's something for you to put down I'll write it if you God forbid you let me in, this baby. I'm just saying, I'm dealing with the same shit. You're kidding, right? You and I could not be more different. I'm... It's just, as we're in the same business, no, I... No, we're I... not. I'm not selling $250 bullshit items to the star. And that's all I do? 
Cameron Diaz breaks up a dog fight? Come on, man, go work for a fucking publicist. Seriously, you jacked a celebrity. You've never sold anything like that. I'm a journalist. I break stories, real stories. Okay, I'm sorry. What real stories are those? I'm not just doing this because I think it's cool and I got nothing better to do. Wag, check this out. What real stories are those? That profile piece you did on Natasha Leone like eight years ago for Venice Magazine? I'm not the one with the allowance, bro. Well, it's not my fault you're stressing about money. Wag, what do you think? You know what? You do realize that if you lived anywhere else on the planet, you'd be extinct, right? Excuse me? You're indigenous to LA. Mediocre 31-year-old males do not lounge around in coffee shops with cappuccinos and wool hats anywhere else in the fucking world. Wag, that could definitely be her. You're like a fucking penguin. Was that not you just a minute ago having coffee with us? No, that wasn't you. Yeah, I don't know, man. See, I told you what I think you should do. The Midwest. I saw this chick in Indiana could easily pass for Reese Witherspoon. I mean, totally pass. No more cutting and pasting shit. I'm sorry, what's Reese doing in Indiana? Where are we shooting her? Like a cornfield? Gee, I didn't think of that. Couldn't possibly shoot her in front of a Starbucks or a Blockbuster. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. We're, we're raising the bar. We're island bound. Douche. I can't get west of La Cienega. Shit, I can't go anywhere. I'm fucking broke. Broke is for pussies. What the fuck is he talking about? Some resort where Daisy Hemfield vacations. I mean, the world's teed up to end and all he cares about is getting a shot at Daisy eating pussy. Not a shot. Video, bro. Whatever. I go big or I don't go at all. Yeah, well, good luck getting within 50 miles of her. Thanks, I'll get a lot closer than that. I'm paparazzi. Paparazzi? Yes. There's no more paparazzi. There's just idiots like you with video cameras. Come on, man, let's get out of here. Come on, let's get something to eat. Oh, and Wag, FYI, penguins are found in tropical climes as well. Not with wool hats, they're not. Hey, Wag, where are we going? Come with me out to the valley for a little while. The valley for what? Dude, Margiri's called me like five times. He says he's got this guy. Man, come on, man, have a little self-respect. I need a story. I haven't got shit, man. They're still cutting back. I don't want to lose my desk. Thought you said you already lost your desk. I did. I don't want to lose my job. What is it? I mean, why do we have to go all the way to the valley? Why doesn't he come over to the hill? Look, he says it's too big, man. He's got to tell me in person. <sighs> I got to check this out, man. I need it. Now, you don't need this, all right? You need something, yes, but you don't need this. Look, it's just going to take a sec. I'll buy you lunch. Where at? Somewhere cheap. Wife's an anesthesiologist. How does Carl have a house? Perfect timing. Your wife just took the grandkids to gymnastics. You guys eat? Yeah. Yeah. I made some eggs for the kids. They didn't finish them. I'm all right. Come on. My specialty. No, I'm good, really. Pete, all organic. No, I just ate. Please, you got to eat something besides those protein bars. Come on. Did you hear Michael Green died? Yeah, no more fun for him, huh? You see, I told you so. Told me what? I wish that cancer on him. You see, I, I, I told you I had that project I took to him years ago when he was just starting out. He was a prick then. Fucking jerk off. So he gets an old bit in variety. Who gives a shit? I mean, what does that mean, right? We have far more important things to discuss. This better be good. Oh, it's good. How the eggs? Good, right? Mm. What do you got? I've turned you on to some pretty decent shit over the years, have I not? Yeah, I got your messages. Have I not? You've also fucked me. Uh, Wag, I have something that blows everything I've ever given you away. You motherfucker, you got pictures of Timmy Hale. No, but I will. You see that fuck the other day? He's in love with that girl. Fucking cocksucker. He's in love with my fucking cock. That's what he's in love with. What a homo. Yeah, the heterosexual Tim Hale. I'm no homo. Oh, I know. You just dabble in gay porn. That was years ago. I told you I get hard for money. Now, you want this or not? No, Carl. We're here for the eggs. 
I'm over at Santa Monica and Gardner the other day picking up some tires. This Armenian guy comes up to me, he says, you know people in the colored newspapers, right? The colored newspapers, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. He says he has a friend who knows of a major American film star. A major American film star who travels regularly down to Venezuela to fuck 10, 11-year-old little girls. Who? Like I know. The source says he wants to talk to someone at Privy. And does he have proof? Yeah, he got pictures. This guy says he can validate. And you're not running with this because? He wants it in Privy, Privy only. What the fuck? They don't take my calls, you know that. That's why I said I'd talk to WAG. You're, you're still freelancing over there, right? A major American film star, a current major American film star. It's not Fred McMurray or some shit. No, 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 Fred McMurray. Who's the source? All I know is he's a guy you don't want to fuck with. That's all I know. This is the mother of a man. Yeah, you'll get a lead fee. Yeah, if it's real. A lead fee? I gotta get at least five G's for this. Oh, you want me to throw in a car for you, too? This is bigger than OJ, man. Are you kidding? This is a fucking museum piece. Now, the guy wants to meet right away tonight. I, I, I said 10.30. Fine, I'll meet him at Piper's. No, it's gotta be at your place. He, he don't wanna meet in public. My place? I can't meet him at my place. I don't meet anyone at my place. Well, why does it gotta be at my place? Insurance, I guess, in case you fuck him, he knows where you live. I'm not gonna fuck him over. I know, I know. And I told him 10.30, is that good with you? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'll, I'll work something out. Good, because I got the kids here tonight. I. I can't do it earlier. Wait a minute, why do you gotta be there? What, are you kidding? I, I'm gonna take you to the moon and then not get out of the fucking capsule? Yeah, I got this amazing girl I want to set you up with. Well, actually, I, uh, I have a date tonight. You do? With who? Carly. You know that girl I bumped into in the market that day? Who's this amazing girl? What girl? Oh, forget about her. The actress? Really? Yeah. She called you back? Yeah, we had dinner last week. What do you mean she called you back? No, nothing. So I guess that shit we talked about worked, huh? Mmm. Yeah, totally. When are you going? What time? I don't know, like nine. Perfect. Perfect. All right, man, I gotta run. Wait, so we totally hit it off last time? That is, until I tried to kiss her. What, did you tell her you had money or some shit? No, I, I didn't tell her I have money. I don't have any money. Why do you say that? You tell her you're a producer? Yeah, so what? Why would you even want to be with a chick like this, bro? Just what should I do? Well, first of all, don't fawn all over her like every other fucking guy she's ever met, you know? Trying to make her like you so you can fuck her. But that's what I want to do. Yeah, you're never gonna get a chance to fuck this chick that way, man. You might get to fuck her once if you're lucky. I don't want that. Actually, you should. Look, take her somewhere off road tonight, you know? Away from Hollywood. Just take your time with her. Have some drinks after dinner, talk to her, you know, try to connect. Hmm. Call me and let me know how it goes. I kind of feel like I'm coming down with the flu. Yeah, I need you. There's two entrances. I can't cover both of them. 
Besides, it's Bob fucking Dylan, man. In a long blonde wig and a hoodie. I mean, how sick is that? All right, all right. All right, so, Wag, I mean, wh what could he possibly have? Carl Morgiri, that guy is fucking burnt. Well, he's no more burnt than any of the rest of us. Please, enough with this guy is falling shit. You know, man, you really are oblivious. I mean, do you have any idea what's going on in the world right now? Do you even read the papers? I'm online. You're online. Okay, Peter, so you're prepared. All right, I mean, I don't see how having some bottles of water and some baked beans makes you prepared. You're informed, but I, what difference does it make? I mean, you're not gonna call your parents or call your friends and tell them you love them. Are you? No. So what good is it? Yeah, you're right. I should just devote all my time to chasing down Jessica Simpson. You're being of service. That's the bowl of ice cream. Midwestern housewives need their drugs too, man. Now grab your shit. Fire on the outside. Yeah, look at that. Fire on the outside. We can toast marshmallows. <laughs> you got any marshmallows? Marshmallows. Um, how long you lived here? Uh, a couple years. Is this your friend from the tire store? No. This is cousin. He's from Armenia. He's young, a little bit fucking crazy. Having a good time in America. Having a good time in America. That's how we do it. <laughs> Put me up for a couple of days, right, cuz? I thought we had more chairs. Hey, you got anything to drink? You know, like a scotch, bourbon, Myers and OJ? <laughs> uh, yeah, let me see what I got. I I'll be right back. So, what kind of guys do you usually date? I mean, do you have a type? Not really. I dated all types of guys. Oh. A lot of successful guys. Some. Not all. I'm not dating the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. What about your last boyfriend? I mean, what, what, what did he do? Orthodontist. Oh. High rate of suicide, huh? Mm. You didn't know that about Dennis? Actually, I think it's the highest. I think, I think it's just because people don't like going there. I know that. I love going to my dentist. Well, I'm sure it's not all dentists. My dentist is the best guess. Anyway, I'm not here because you're a producer, if that's what you're getting at. I mean, you're just starting out, and you haven't even produced anything, so. No, no, I didn't mean that. <clears throat> I mean, besides, I haven't always been a producer. You know, I've been involved in quite a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. Some pretty, some very successful businesses, actually. That's great. I have to tell you, you are so beautiful. Just gorgeous. Thanks. Shit. What's the matter? Huh? Uh, nothing. So how soon do you think you can get this in that paper? We'll have to take it to my editors. And in order to do that, I need to verify the story. What, do you think I made it up? No. I was there. What more do you want? Oh, I know. It's just that with something like this, I'm going to need something, you know, like pictures, some things. Pictures? You think I took pictures? No. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. No, I just need proof. Hey, man. When I heard this motherfucker was still going down there after he was arrested. Down wait, 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 wait. He was arrested? Are there records? Yeah, there's records. There's no fucking records. 
He bought them like he buys everything else. Well, you know, I need to verify. Yeah. How's this? No good? No, that's great. Shall we listen? Yeah, yeah. Recognize the voice? Dan Moore. Holy shit. No. Really? Uh, how did you... How do you think? I flew down to Venezuela to beat the piss out of him, watch him cry like a little bitch. A little what? Like a little baby. Huh? <sighs> Justice. It's an endangered species in this country, man. Makes me sick, you understand? Sick. That's not just a word. I hear you, brother. Hey. My bad. They're sex slaves. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't... There was nothing I could do. I was gonna kill a cocksucker right there, but that would have been too easy. Look, listen. Don't get me wrong. I want to ruin this motherfucker. Ruin. Yeah. For life. Just like O.J. O.J.'s playing golf. These are ten-year-old little girls he's raping, you fucking idiot. This story is too big for Privy. It's too big for the tabloid. No, no, wrong. Did I not tell you I want this in the fucking supermarkets? I told him. They'll, they'll play for the, through the ass for this story, man. I could give a shit. I know what the fuck it's worth. Everything's about money in this fucking town. He's got more than me, I got more than you. I know, it's bullshit. Hey, what you write I want to include the victims. This country's all about getting off on watching Humpty take the big fall, and everybody forgets what the thing's all about. I want you to write about those little girls. Got it. George, uh, most likely they're, they're gonna wanna analyze the tape. Right, Wag? Analyze it, then. I didn't make it in my fucking garage. No, I know that. And they're gonna want you to take a lie detector test. How's 10? I'll take 10. One should do it. If I give you this tape, if you take this tape, you've got a responsibility. Do we understand each other? Do we understand each other? Yes. Red to the lady. And a glass of rosé. Thanks. So, where do you want to be, like, uh, in the next 10 years? In 10 years? Uh, hypothetically. I really have no idea. I try to stay in the moment. <laughs> well, just for fun. All right, well, hopefully I'll still have a television show. You have a television show? No, not right now, but you said in 10 years, so hopefully my show will still be on. Wow. It's uh, very cup is half full. Well, if you're going to make me project, of course I'm going to project positively. It's a really tough time to be in this business. I have to be positive. If this were the 80s or the 70s, things were so different. I would already have a show. Well, I mean, look on the bright side. At least you're not living during the Shakespearean times. I mean, that was really rough. You know, the men, they played the women. 
Well, you have it backwards. Gwyneth Paltrow in that Shakespeare film. Remember she was all wrapped up playing a guy? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get there. Wow. You really wanna be famous, huh? Of course. Everyone wants to be remembered. You know, I don't want my life to be like, I'm born and then I live and then I die. Great meeting you, cousin. So you got my address? Yeah. You got my phone number? You got it, all set. I'm on it first thing tomorrow. We'll protect the cargo. We'll talk in the morning. Hey. What's going on? What are you doing on my patio? Oh, I came to your patio. You weren't there. I was at the patio a few hours ago. Careful, those steps are tricky, George. What? Thanks, guys. Drive safe. You bet. Fuck, you almost totally fucked that up. What are you doing on Dude, my Dude, keep your voice down. Who are those people? Look, bro, I apologize. It was a very important meeting. It went down last minute. I couldn't have it at my place. It's a long story. Just know that you totally helped me out tonight. But seriously, man, I owe you one. How was your date? It sucked. I don't want to talk about it. All right, man. Thanks. hear me banging on your door? Actually, I did not. Oh, listen, we need to talk. Are you just getting up? No, I've been up. What's so important that you had to come all the way from Ojai? You couldn't just call? No, I couldn't. All right, first of all, I want you to know that it's not my intention to hurt you in any way. What? I acknowledge my part in this. OK, could you just spare me the disclaimers? Will you allow me to finish, please? All right. I should have done this a long, long time ago, but I'm not going to take on the guilt about that. Oh, hey, man. Sorry. Can we talk about this downstairs? I canceled all the credit cards this morning. There's going to be no more allowance. There's going to be no more car insurance, no more cell phone, nothing. As a matter of fact, if I were you, I'd start looking for a new place to live because I'm selling the building. I'm no longer able to support you financially. Oh, you're no longer able. Or to enable you to continue living like this. It is high time you were self-supporting through your own contributions. OK, I can do without the AA sound bites. Thank you. You ungrateful louse. Don't you walk away from me. I am not through with you. Now you listen to me, you son of a bitch. I don't want you to call me. I don't want you to write me. I don't want to hear from you in any way. You mark this date down in your calendar, Edward. October 25th, 2006. That's the date of my death certificate. Are you done? I got things to do. Yeah, yeah I can see that. It's 11.30 in the morning. You're still in your underwear. Why, you got some little slut in there waiting for you? I thought you were dead. You're not going to talk this way from the grave, are you? Well, we'll see how popular you are when you got nowhere to live and nothing to drive. I don't think you're going to get anything from your father, either. You're not going to get one red cent. 
Not one cent. Jackpot. An upper tanker is when I take a shit in the upper tank of your toilet. Why are you so adverse to having a discussion? This is a discussion. I'm educating you on upper tankers. End of story. David? Hey, you got me. Hey, man. It's Dean. This is Pete. Hey, Pete. I'm nice sorry to meet we're you. late. This is my friend Evelyn. Evelyn. Hey, I gotta be upfront with you guys. The cheesecakes that I've already baked today, I promised to my regular customers, and I just don't have any more time to bake today. Uh, cheesecakes. You have best cheesecakes in LA. Well, that's awesome. I love cheesecake. Uh, yeah, so we're here to talk to you about Alexis. She said you had a connection at a resort, Turks and Caicos. Hey, you know, when it quiets down, you can always reach me at food to die for at earthling.net. That's food, the number two, E I E, the number four, at earthling.net. Okay. Yeah, Turks and Caicos. So, how do you guys know Alexis? Yes. Uh, out. She's an old like friend, friend of a friend. friend. Yeah, Alexis, that's one crazy girl. I heard she was just arrested. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, she just made bail. She was found outside some guy's window with a cocked bow and arrow pointed at the back of his head. Crossbow. Bow and arrow, crossbow, whatever. She's fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah. So. This resort, the one you got connections with, I mean, it's a major celeb hang, right? Yeah, um, it's a shit as far as resorts go, but for me, I really like the Caymans. Uh, right, but, but uh, Daisy, she hangs there, right? Yeah, all the major players are there. You know, Daisy's there all the time. So you think that maybe the next time she's there that you could get my mom like a room or a villa next to hers? Let me tell you guys something. This place costs major bucks, okay? Well, that's not a problem. It's just that she's a, she's a freak for Daisy. I mean, this would be the ultimate for her. Well, my mom's addicted too. Yeah. Well, his mom's also major phobic, so we'd have to go down there in advance and sweep the place. It's just yeah. I need to go down to the room and do the, the whole OCD trip to it first. OCD trip? She's obsessive compulsive. We'd have to go down there and sterilize. Well, yeah. It's just really that she needs someone she trusts to go down and look at. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So you think you could do this for her? I'm pretty sure I can help you guys out. What do you mean you're pretty sure? I can help you guys out. All right. So you are sure? My father's brother owns the place. Shit. Well, that's your uncle. My father's brother. It's a done deal. Awesome. Sweet. Hey, Jimmy, I totally spaced calling you last night. Guy will be here around 11 to look at the stove. Sorry, man. Not a problem. Have a great day, bro. Are you making this up? Because I'll tell you, you're a fucking white whale if you're not. What did trivia say? Listen, Eddie, you better get it analyzed first. I'm getting it analyzed. Pretty. Oh, there she is. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm a little late. Uh, what time is it? You're fine. Oh, you tell the doctor I'm here? Doesn't she look like a, a young Jean Tierney? Who? That something? Yeah, I don't know who that is either. What? She's the most beautiful actress that ever lived. Oh, well, thank you, Rudy. Flattery will get you everywhere. Dr. DeAngelis will be right with you. Didn't she go crazy? The actress, Jean Tierney. Thanks a lot, Rudy. I don't like that term. She lost the ability to assess denial. There's a difference. I'm not gonna waste this on Rudy. For what, so they can add three hacks to my name at the end bullet? But what about your source? No, you, you, you'll get shit if you bring this to Vanity Fair or the New York Times. He's all about the story. I told you, he doesn't care about the money. <laughs> when am I gonna see something like this again? You know, you're getting way ahead of yourself. Did they pay you yet for that Hugh Grant thing? What Hugh Grant thing? Well, you, did you go to uh, Reno to interview that Divine Brown? You know, the, his, the anniversary of the blowjob? That was months ago. Well, look, bring them the story. It's a score. I mean, they'll put, they'll put you back on salary. 
This isn't some tabloid bullshit. The whole country's rotting from the inside out. Look at who they're worshiping. They don't care who they're worshiping. Who do you think you are, Carl Bernstein? I mean, you talk like there's some real journalism out there. Would you take the guy down and get your desk back, will you? He was just standing there. He had this horrible, pain, confused look in his eyes. Where was that? Bus station, Hollywood and Gower. He said, where, where did it all go? What happened to my town? People walked away from him like he was crazy, but I knew exactly what he was saying. Right, it's gone. It's not just all the illegals, it's, it's the lore, the mystique. Mystique left town when they buried Gary Cooper. I'm serious. I can't feel it anymore. I think it's all over. Hmm. For us, you're right. <laughs> so for us, a long time ago, if you'd collect your pension, we could get the hell out of here. Do what? Retire to the high desert and live in a trailer? Thank you. Let's not and say we did. What happened to my town? Hurry for Hollywood. Hey, I tried to call you, but my phone died. You got my message? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, give me two sex. Two sex? <gasps> Dan Mar. Holy shit, and there's a fucking tape? What Dawn say? I mean, they must be flipping out. I got a meeting with her at three. I'm not just handing this to her, though, man. She's gonna have to come up with some major fucking bucks. You cancel fucking Christmas. I know, right? God, this is mainstream media, baby. It is, isn't it? This is a book. You know this is a book. Yeah. What real stories, little chappy fuck. Finally, my life is finally changing. I was all ready to cash in and get the fuck out of here. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Carl Margiri. Congratulations, man. Hey, you didn't hear anything on my Laurel Flynn Boyle thing, did you? Yeah, I ran it by him. They're not interested. Really? All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Copy? Yeah. Do you have the tape on you? No. Ah. <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to leave it at home? <laughs> I got the fucking tape. Oh, but I want that motherfucker listening. I ain't going to say anything, dude. Edward Tamek. I think I have the right address. Uh, yeah, actually, it's uh, up these stairs, first door on the right. Great, thanks. firm representing Dan Marr. Uh-huh. Okay, hold on a minute. What's up? Well, that all depends. Uh, it's been brought to our attention a certain story involving our client. Been brought to your attention? Yes. By who? That's really not at issue. Maybe not for you. Uh, um, 
I'm not 100% certain of the content of your story, but if it has anything to do with Venezuela, I can assure you it is a complete fabrication. Oh, gee. Thanks. I'll cease and desist immediately. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, would like to propose a contingency offer. For a complete fabrication? If it'll save us both from litigation, yes. I'm waiting. I'm prepared to offer you a cashier's check for $5,000. With, of course, your signature denouncing the validity of the story. Of course. Let's see. Five grand, or break a story which will make my career and take down a scumbag, no-talent child molester in the process. Hmm. 20000 That's our final offer. Oh, come on, don't be foolish, Edward. This is not some $500 item. This is $20,000, and I can guarantee that you will never be offered this money again. Where'd you go to school? Sarah Lawrence. You been asked back yet? You know, as the successful Hollywood alum. Be sure to remember to share this with them when you discuss what it is you do for a living. Get off my property. Thank you, one moment. Good afternoon. Eric Wright for Dawn. Do you have an appointment? No, just tell her I'm here. Regarding? Eric Wright. Thanks. <laughs> Good afternoon, BCI. Have me a director call. One moment, please. Yes, you have an Eric Wright here for you? No, he's in the lobby. Okay, I will. Don will be right with you. Mm -hmm. Eric, I'm in a meeting. Yeah, we have to talk. All right, uh, let me go back, finish up. No, 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 I need to handle this now. It shouldn't take long. All right. Uh, Roberta, will you tell Ellie I'm just going to be a couple minutes? Okay. Good afternoon, BCI. I have my director call. Thank you, one moment. BCI, how may I direct your call? One moment, please. Hi, Dawn wanted me to let you know she'll just be a minute. Hi, I'm here to see Dawn. No, no, she's in the conference room. Okay. I'm sorry, you are? Oh, WAG. We met very briefly when you were first starting. Oh, right. I'm a little early, my appointment's at three. Okay, well, go ahead and have a seat. Good afternoon, BCI. How may I direct your call? No, ma'am. Rupert Murdoch has nothing to do with our publication. Yes, <laughs> I guess you can't blame him for everything. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, BCI. How may I direct your call? So, I'll call you, and we'll try and reschedule. Oh, reschedule? What are you talking about? I brought the tape. I have Marcus for you. He says it's important. I, I can't do this now. Marcus, I messengered the tickets this morning. Did you not find them? Okay, good. Doorstep them all, show them the checkbook. You were there to pass out money. We met years ago. Mm, refresh my memory. You sold me a story about one of your clients going to rehab? <laughs> Former client. She is now. I don't give a shit. Look, I can't talk to you right now. Just bring back something nobody else has. What is he doing here? You know what? It doesn't matter. 
Listen, I'm trying to give you a chance at this thing. A chance? A chance at what? Dan Marr admits to fucking 10-year-old little girls. Words he was forced to read from a script with a loaded pistol at his temple. He's not that good an actor. I'd go with something else. This is extortion. Daniel Marr is a father, a family man. He's a great human being. BCI, have me a director call. You haven't a clue as to who my client is. Oh, and you do? How well do you get to know a guy with your nose up his ass over lunch at the Ivy? BCI, how many director call? This is ridiculous. I mean, this, this whole thing, it's born out of Venezuela. So what does that mean? It doesn't count? Don, just listen to the tape. We're gonna pass. As will any and all other reputable publications. You were gonna sell this out all along. I'm sorry, sir. He doesn't seem to be answering. Would you like his voicemail? Okay. I will. What, you don't want to hear about your little contract with Mar? What are you talking about? I need you to leave the building. Now. Don't expect any negative articles about Dan Marr. BCI Publications just took his fucking money. Roberta, call security. Okay. How much did you get? Three million? More? Huh? I understand the deals with the homos. I get it. The business runs on heterosexual fuel. But a child molester, Don... They're on their way. Hey, 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 no running around in the house. Sorry, man, we're packing, taking the kids up to Big Sur tomorrow. What's up? You piece of shit. I knew you'd fuck me. What are you talking about? This is bullshit. This was a done deal. All you had to do was, was, was take, pick. I haven't gotten shit. How'd the agent know, Carl? Wag, 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 you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Motherfucker. Uh, Hello? For what? You'd sell your mother out for a lottery ticket. Not on this one. You crazy? You think I'm suicidal? Jesus, George is gonna be pissed. Well, I told you not to fuck with this guy. Come back for you slip away too soon They tied you round my hand They tied you up too loose Do they take you for granted? Did I keep you with them? While others were watching us parade and look the other way, I will, I won't, I can't forget. I stood and watched us the green. Turn to red, turn to red, turn to red. seen that guy around? Yeah, a couple of times today. Having a good time in America. What? Who is he? Okay. You know those guys I met on the patio the other night? Yeah. Well, they're apparently not very happy with me right now. And they may or may not be members of the Armenian mob. The guy outside is a Russian mobster? Armenian. Did I say Russian? 
Look, man, I didn't have to tell you. Yes, you did. He thinks you live here. Does he think that you live here? I don't know what he thinks. Well, go out there and tell him where you live. Yeah, right. Wait. Ladies. I thought that place was empty. Did you notice anyone move in after Sonia left? Did you? No. At least we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, maybe not about him. Listen, man, I'm not gonna be living here while some Armenian mobster- No, it's okay, don't worry about it. I'll no, 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 it no, 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 this is your shit, man. I want you to clean it up. I'm not gonna be up all night worrying about some guy putting your bullet in my head. Okay. You're right. I'm gonna deal with it. Hi, is George around? What the fuck are you doing here? I tried to call, but it was busy. Let him in. Close that door. I came to apologize. I tried to get it in, but his people got there before me. I don't know how the fuck that happened. I want you to know I had nothing to do with it. And I want you to know that, that I never gave them the tape. They never heard the tape. Yeah, that's good. I'm really sorry. I, I know you wanted it in Privy, so did I. Don't worry about it. Shit happens. Shit happens. How are your legs? What did the doctor say? I got lymphedema. Huh? I mean, I, what, 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 do you, what do you want me to tell you? My legs are like lead. It affects my back, my diabetes. I take a fistful of pills. You know what Betty Davis said about getting old, don't you? Yeah, well, it's not for sissies. All right, uh, this fucking uh, uh, Dan Marr. I, mean, I never liked well, him. Well, forget about it. The story's dead. Dead? Yeah, dead. I just left the source. Marr bought everyone out. I want you to write about those little girls. I don't care about the money. You know who doesn't care about money? They're in padded cells telling each other how a duck fucked a monkey. Yeah. So everyone's rich and I'm out of a fucking job. God, suckers. It's fucking business. Oh. You know, years ago, it was nothing for them to fly me out to Hawaii, five-star hotel expenses, just to sit around the Magnum set and file some bullshit on Tom Selleck. Those days are long gone. Hey, what's the matter with you? You think things are going to change here? Huh? This fucking place is Pompeii. I mean, this is a city waiting a tragedy. Why don't you sell your home? You get over a million dollars for it. Yeah? And go where? And do what? Right. You're a hell of a writer. Yeah. Oh, here. What's this? 60 bucks. I need a quote. I thought you said you lost your job. I did. I gotta file this one last story. I mean, you sure they're gonna pay you? They'll pay me. Don't worry about it. What is this, uh, some kind of karma thing where you know you turn me into a rabbit's foot so you can turn your life around? You don't want it? Ah, I didn't say that. You know, that, uh, that karma shit you know, doesn't work. You know that, don't you? When the biggest pricks in the world come down out of those hills, you give me a call, and we'll talk about karma. All right, so what's this story about? Uh, the actress, what's her name? She's in the new Pacino film. She just got divorced. 
Who's that? The, the little one with the face like a lemon? <sighs> yeah, she's in the channeling or some shit. Just give me a quote. Well, give me a little something here. She, she talks to spirits. She's talking to spirits. I don't know. She's talking to me about spirits. Yeah. Oh, well, that's... Well, the one with the terrible love life. Oh, all right. How's this? I've had dates with imaginary people who haven't shown up. That's not bad. I know, of course it's not bad. I mean, I give you top shelf. I've had dates with imaginary people... Who haven't shown up. You know where I heard that? Eh? Years ago, my mother's oldest brother came to visit me here, right? And he told me that story <laughs> at the Rainbow, where he was out of his mind on mushrooms or some shit, right? And I've had that line all these years, and I never used it. That's for you. I gotta get going. Get some sleep. I'll call you. Eddie? Don't fear change. Eddie? I love you. I'm totally perfect for it, but I probably won't get in. So, what's been going on with your project? Huh? What about it? Oh, I, don't, I don't know, just what's going on with it. You hardly ever talk about it. What's it about again? Oh, I don't know. I guess you could say it's about how crazy life is, you know? Like how we met. Literally bumping into each other like we did. It's cool. Did you use that? how we met each other at the market like that? That was just a weird accident, though. Wasn't it? Well, I don't know if I'd call it an accident. I mean, well, yeah, I guess, in a way. Yeah. Hey. Oh. You guys could probably put this to better use than me. Hope I'm not interrupting a romantic moment. You just missed it. We just now got back into our clothes. Damn. Hi. Wag. Wag, Carly? Carly. Nice to meet you. Have you been celebrating? Nah, quite the opposite, actually. Wag's had kind of a rough day. Yeah. You live in the canyon? I wish. No, I'm down in the hot plate. Gardner, off Melrose. Oh. Oh, well. Well, thanks for the tequila, man. <laughs> what do you mean, oh, well? No, nothing. It's just I don't do Gardner. What? Yeah. I get a really bad vibe there, so, you know, I, uh, I avoid it. I don't drive it. I just don't do it. And for how long have you not done Gardner? 20 years. Really? Like, what if you met a girl who lived on Gardner? You couldn't even pick her up at her house? No. Nope. Sorry. Well, it's not my problem. I mean, I wasn't talking about me, obviously. You should really try and get in touch with what's underneath that delusion. Yeah, I don't think we want to compare delusions. Well, thanks, Wag. What's that supposed to mean? Just what I said. <sighs> wow, you're so angry. Why are you so angry? I really don't think... Real do. life, sweetie. Not my life, sweetie. Well, yeah. On that, we agree. Your life is an endless tap dance for validation. Oh, I know. You seize the day. A self-obsessed journey deep into a serious waste of time. You're talking to me about wasting time? Chasing celebrities for fucking tabloids? Carly. Listen, oh, yeah. You're a parasite! As opposed to chasing supposed producers? Oh, you're a pig! Carly, wait. Well, leave me alone, Todd. Only those with the ability to see have the responsibility to act so you can relax. Yeah, that makes sense, wag. Yeah? You might want to take that up with the little mop-haired fella, Albert Einstein. Loser! Sorry, bro. Couldn't help myself. Seize the day.
Hey, where's Excelsis Deo? That's a place, isn't it? It's a special place. The Christmas Carol? I don't know. Fuck. The actress is right. I spent my whole adult life chasing celebrities, and what do I have to show for it? Nothing. That's not true. Yes, it is. I got shit. Well, Scott Peterson. Scott Peterson? Yeah, we're in love. The baby killer guy? Yeah, we got this whole love affair thing going. I write to him in prison. As a chick. He's writing you back? Yeah, he writes back. Hardly call it a love affair if he didn't. I sent him pictures of different chicks. Took me like six months. I finally hooked him with this one that looks kind of like what his mother might have looked like 30 years ago. That's amazing. Yeah. Who knows, it might even be a book. If I could ever get him to propose or say something meaningful. I gotta get the fuck out of here. What are you waiting for? Sell the building. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I know this whole town is smoke and mirrors, but it still bothers me. Part of me is still envious. I sit there and watch these talk shows, watch celebrities, reality show shitheads. I sit there and watch them talk about nothing. My life didn't work out. Join the club. You know what it is? I wake up, I check my fucking email, I check my other fucking email, I go on MySpace or whatever the fuck bullshit chick site, I watch cable, I beat off, and it's Wednesday again, and it's Wednesday again. I've wasted my fucking life. Everybody has. Everyone feels like they've wasted time. It's unavoidable. It's the routine. You're right. It's the routine. God, if only something in my life would just change. It's a routine. It's unavoidable. You're right. That's the killer. You know, if it was just routine, I think I could handle it. But it's routine, and at the same time, totally random. What else do you know like that? I'm out of here.
You there? It's me. They know where I am, don't they? Hey, you ain't no grey. I'm at, um, 6153. I just moved in a bit ago. Tim Hutchinson. Todd. Great spot. So, uh, you're an early bird too, huh? No. Couldn't sleep. Where's your dog? No, no, I just popped up for a run. This is yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Great dog. Yeah. Hey, I was, uh, I was thinking of grilling up a few steaks later. If you're not doing anything, you, you're more than welcome. Say, uh, six-ish. If you're not doing anything. All right. Brilliant. I'll see you then.
be the dog, I'm not going to be able to make it down there. Just from the west side. Come. I think mm. I have a million other Fucking Justine, man. That chick is so whack. Listen, you guys want a piece of this? It's really good. I'm not hungry. Peter said uh, you guys lost the story, man. Mm. It's rough. Yeah, I heard it was you who suggested it was me who gave it up. Uh, I never suggested that. This was no nickel and dime shit, man. This was my grandkids' college. I never suggested you guys gave it up. I, I didn't say that. Peter said they bought off the source. They bought off the source, right? It was probably the source. It wasn't the source. He took the money, but he didn't give it up. Well, don't look at me, man. I... Well, how would you feel if you got fucked out of a story like this? Carl, I had nothing to do with this. You know, well, maybe I should give security a heads up down there in the, in the islands. Have them check for wireless miniatures in Daisy's villa. Courtesy of the asshole next door. Carl, huh? I had nothing to do with Listen, this. What the fuck, man? Carl, he had nothing to do with it, all right? Just calm down. We'll figure this out. I know he didn't. You gonna help us find the killer, OJ, huh? You throw me under the truck too, you little fuck! Look, man, I'm sorry, okay? You said you weren't bringing it privy, so I figured, what the fuck? You called the publicist, Peter. No, I called the agent, all right? The agent called the publicist. Look, man, I'm fucking broke, all right? And I don't have a car, and this is not a good time to be broke and not own a car. All right, and in no way did I think I was jeopardizing your gig. Listen, bro, I don't own a house, all right? I don't have options. All right, you'd have, you'd have done the same shit if you were me. Fuck you. Whatever, man. No, not, not whatever. Grizzly hey. Adams, lesson one. Know with who you fucketh with before you fucketh with them. Well, fuck off, Carl. Enjoy the fucking rain, motherfucker. Thank God, I just left you a letter. Yeah, I just got your message. Listen, can you take Freddy? Please, if you can't keep him, just give him to a good home. Just whatever you do, just don't take him to the pound. Yeah, wait, what's going on? Are you really leaving? Oh, look, I'm sorry about the short notice. Just keep the deposit. Wait, wait, what happened? Is this about that chick? No, it's got nothing to do with her. I don't get it. Where are you going? Why aren't you taking your dog? I can't take him to prison. What? What? Three years ago, my business partner, my wife ran off with my business partner, and I took off with a little bit of the company's cash. The skinny guy over there, he's a federal agent. I gotta go. Just keep the car, take whatever you want from upstairs, but just take care of Freddy.
I'm happy to announce I finally succeeded in lighting the grill. I threw the steaks on, so. God, that grill. Shouldn't be long. Is there a bathroom around? Yes, yeah, just, just past the dining room on the left. Hello. Roger? Uh, yeah, who's this? Who is this? It's Josh. Josh? Josh, my God, I, jo Josh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Listen, I, I, I can't talk. I really need to talk to Mom. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Los, Los Angeles. Look, I, I just really need to talk to her. Josh. Mom passed away last week. She had a heart attack. I'm here packing up her stuff. I'm sorry, Josh. Listen, I, uh, I, I, I gotta get off. They're about to arrest me, and I'll try and call you when I... Wait, wait, wait. Arrest you for what? Come on, Raj. I gotta go. No, Josh, this doesn't make sense for the ship back here, because they dropped the case. You know that, right? They dropped the case? Yeah, like three weeks after you left. The DA didn't have enough evidence. Ronnie told them that the money was legally yours. I heard that he thought it would cost more if he opened the books to the government, so they dropped it. Nobody's been looking for me? No. Uh, I just... Listen, uh, there's something I should... I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, go ahead. I don't want to lie to you. As hard as that is for me, it's, it's all I do, really. I've been alone. I've been alone for, for quite a while now. Uh-huh. God. Why am I so reluctant, so incapable of, of expressing this? I've gotten so far away from anything that's... <clears throat> that's real, you know? <sighs> God, why does this translate to me as somehow being weak? You know, people... People... You know, they talk about... Uh, how uh, our anger and resentment, how, uh, how they'll eat you alive. Uh, I, I don't think that's it. Yeah. I think it's love. I've got all this love. And I've got nowhere to put it. And I've gone far too long in my life. I 
I need to tell you how I feel. I know what you're saying. But I'm sorry, I'm not, uh... I understand, I, I knew that was probably how it was. Maybe that's why I had the guts to say it. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for uh, allowing me to try to try to say that as as painful and uh, ungraceful as it may have been. You were, you were gonna say something. Oh. It was nothing. That's it. So I gotta know, was that money here the whole time? A couple hundred grand. I had the rest buried a few other places. That's why I always had a special feeling up there. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Maybe I'll send some new evidence at the DA's office in Jersey. Part of me kind of got used to being on the run. I'll probably just end up going home. Disregard the speed limit. Take it easy, Wag.
you got a different light for every room but you got a different smile for everyone can you really take it easy in that chair or do you stop and think about the people who aren't there the people could live anywhere else than LA, where would you live? South Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, I, I don't know. I like I like San Francisco. I love San Francisco. I like Napa. Yeah. I, uh, How long you live in LA? My whole life. And I need to get out really badly. So if anybody's going anywhere but here and would like to give me a ride I'm waiting outside the theater come and find me please get me out of the get me out of this shit hole <laughs>